I'm Kenny Young from Burlington, Vermont. There are a lot of interesting things to see in Burlington. And there's a lot to do, too. This is my studio where I fabricate jewelry. And today, I'll be making a sterling silver and 14 karat yellow and green gold carat belt buckle. First, I'm gonna start with creating the design. I'm going to lay it out with a ruler and a pencil. I'm gonna start with the outside dimensions. We're looking for 1.5 by 2.25 inches. I'm gonna to begin to draw the carrot. I'm gonna start with circle templates to make sure that the top of my carrot is perfectly round. I base my carrot design on the cocktail period of the 20s, which will give it a bit of a whimsical feel. Now that I have a design I like, I'm gonna cut it out. I now have an outline for my carrot gold belt. I'm gonna use a caliper to find the exact same dimensions of the outside of my carrot design. I'm then going to take these dimensions and scribe them into my sterling silver sheet metal. Now that I've scribed my outline with my caliper, I'm gonna take a jeweler's saw and saw the dimensions out. I use a bit of wax to make sure that my blade doesn't catch. I've cut two identical pieces of silver, one for the front and one for the back. I'm going to take my design and rubber cement it to the top of one of my sheets of silver. I want to cut the carrot design out of my frame. In order to do that, I must first drill a pilot hole. I'm going to choose a spot on the inside of the carrot to put a drill hole through. One on the carrot and one on the stock. I now want to thread a jeweler's saw blade through one of the holes so I can saw that section out. I now have a hole where my carrot was. I want to do the same thing with the stock. I want to take a file and smooth out the inside edges. Now that I've filed to a fine point, I'm going to take my flexible shaft machine and a silicone polishing wheel and finish my carrot to a high polish. I use different polishing wheels for different sections of my carrot. This grinding stone will allow me to shape my polishing wheels to get into the tiny little areas of my carrot. And for the areas that I can't get to perfectly, I'm going to finish with a fine file. I want the stalk to be green and the carrot to be orangish yellow. So for the stalk, I chose a 14 carat green gold. And for the carrot, I chose a 14 carat yellow gold. I'm going to take my top plate, lay it directly over the bottom plate, and go around the inside of the carrot and groove a line on the back plate. I'm going to take the old patterns from the carrot and the stalk and I'm going to rubber cement them directly to the gold. I'm going to cut around the stalk and around the carrot, leaving a little bit of room. I'm going to peel these layers off, lay it down on the back part of my belt, and see how it shows through the front. Once I know the gold is in the right spot, I'm ready to solder. First, I'm going to take an abrasive pad and remove all of the grease and oil from the surface of the metal. I don't worry about scratching the metal. In fact, I prefer it. It allows the solder to flow a little bit easier. I'm now going to take a boric acid and alcohol solution and coat the surface of my metal. This solution allows for a clean, bright surface after I solder. I'm going to apply a flux, which allows the solder to flow. I use tiny pieces of solder so I can apply them exactly where they need to be. I want to make sure to put them all the way around the gold so there's a complete solder. I'm ready to use the torch. I've gone ahead and created a bracket to hold the belt buckle to the belt and two prongs to dig into the belt. Now, I'm going to solder them on. I'm now going to put this piece in a nitric acid solution to clean the surface of the metal. I've cleaned and polished the soldered piece and put three holes in the back to install rivets. I'm taking an ordinary pencil, removing the eraser, and installing it on my flex shaft. 
This will allow me to create a machine finish, which should give a bushy feel to the stalk of the carrot. I've gone ahead and soldered posts to the back of my front plate, so I can sandwich them together. These parallel pliers don't mar the finish because they stay parallel from opening to closing. The final step is take a steel mandrel and hammer the ends of these wires closed to keep both pieces together. My belt buckle is finished. Up next, Mike returns.